Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Word 2019 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to enter text in your Word documents. Let's get started. So you'll see here that I have a blank Word document open. If you don't know how to get to this, you can go ahead and watch my Word 2019 playlist, which covers how to open up a blank document. So once you open up a blank document, you'll see that it looks just like this. This is our mock sheet of paper right here, and our blinking cursor is right here. You can see that it blinks on and off. This tells you where you're about to start typing. This is also called the insertion point. So at this point, we are ready to start typing. So when we start typing, all you need to do is type the words that you want to type. And so I'm going to type in surfs up. I'm going to start with a capital S. Anytime we want to capitalize a letter, you need to hit the shift key and hold it. And then after holding shift, I'm going to type in an S, then U R F s up exclamation point at the end all right so now you'll see that our insertion point is at the end right here and so i'm going to now press enter to go down to the next line when i press enter you'll see that my blinking cursor or insertion point has gone down to the next line all right, so the next thing that I'm going to go over is formatting marks. Now, formatting marks in Word are used for formatting your document, okay? And this shows you basically non-printed characters. A formatting mark could be thing like a, something like a paragraph marker or a little dot every time that you press the space bar. I want to show you what this looks like. In the Home tab right here, you go to the Paragraph group, and you're going to click formatting marks. This says formatting marks show slash hide. Show paragraph marks and other symbols that are hidden um, in your document. This is especially useful for advanced layout tasks. I want to show this to you immediately just to see what this looks like. I'm going to press on formatting marks. And if you get used to writing with these, it's going to be a lot easier to uh, format your document later on. But you'll see that I have surfs up, and in between the S and the up, or the U for up, there's a little dot. And that little dot is equivalent of a space bar. And then you'll see a paragraph mark at the end, which lets you know that that's the end of your paragraph. And then a new one began when we pressed enter. And that's when we inserted that blank line. So there we go. We're now ready to continue typing. But first, let's enter in a new paragraph. So I'm going to press Enter once more, and that'll give me an extra space in between my lines. Now, you can probably already see why formatting marks are useful, because the formatting marks tell you exactly how many spaces you have in between each line. This really allows you to uh, keep track of not only your spaces between words, but also your spacing between paragraphs. Now you may be saying, hey, it's a little hard to see your document. I feel like we're too far zoomed out. So there is a way to zoom to page width. All that you need to do is go to the View tab right up here, and then go to the Zoom group, which is right here, and click Page Width. Zoom the document so that the width of the page matches the width of the window. I'm going to click on Page Width, and you'll see that it zooms me right in. All right, that looks good. Now I'm going to type some more words and I want you to see how word wrap works. Now word wrap happens when you get to the end of your margin. So you may have noticed we don't start typing on the very far left portion of our page. That's because this is the margin area. So there is a space between the edge of the paper and where your text actually begins. That margin area, as you can see in my ruler up here, is this grayed out section. If you don't see your ruler and you'd like to see your ruler, you could go to the View tab, Show Group, and click the little checkbox for Ruler. And you'll see on your ruler as well, you have some space on the left side. Then you'll see some it, the color changes to white across this part of the ruler. This is all of your typing area, or the body of your document. And you'll see all the way over until here is where it goes back to being grayed out, which is the right margin. So when we type, our writing always starts at the uh, edge of the left margin and goes all the way to the right margin. So when we get to about right here, we could expect that our words will wrap down below without pressing enter at all. So go ahead and type along with me now, and let's type in some more words. I'm going to type learn to surf or improve your form and skills 
on the waves through expert instruction from our award hyphen winning surf school and then a period you'll see that between each word a dot appears which is the um, which is every time we use a space bar and you'll see that at the end of it is the end of the paragraph which you'll see the paragraph marker so hopefully this has taught you a little bit more about how to type in text in Word and a little bit about your margins and the body of the document, as well as the formatting marks. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, please put them into the comment section below and I'll do my best to help you out. Thank you so much for watching my video today and have a great rest of your day.